Que pasa YouTube? How's it going everybody? Hopefully y'all are having a good Monday today. Have for y'all a very good close any Wi-Fi battle against Sharpedo 43 and if you know the matches against Sharpedo you already know it's going to be a very good battle so if you guys do enjoy this make sure to hammer arm that like button down below and to answer the question of the day which is right beside me right there and uh, this is was this is was and could be a very awesome team I don't I don't know how to English properly but this is a pretty cool team that was based around double scarf mons and vanillix and Embor with a modest choice specs Rotom and Z move uh, Vickable, which is actually really cool. I've been wanting to use both Vickable and Vanillix for a while now. But going into this battle, uh, Sharpedo had a very terrifying team. The biggest threats were easily going to be that Braviary, the uh, Sneasel, and the, what's it called, the Delphox, because realistically, I don't have too many safe switchings to either of those three uh, clearly offensive mons, so I have to be very careful around them. So I end up leading off with my Vanillix in hopes that he would lead off with the Seismitoad, but he ends up leading off with the Hitmontop, which doesn't have the Intimidate, so I'm thinking he most likely is going to try and go for the Fake Out turn 1, which is why I make the safe switch directly into my Zatu, because I am physically defensive. I also have the Rocky Helmet, plus I have the Hail Up, so this Hitmontop is going to be losing a good amount of its HP after going for the Fake Out, which did do a decent chunk to my Zatu as I'm going to pull a double switch here into my Vickabolt expecting him to want to try to switch into either his Seismitoad or switch into a Sneasel both of which I can live any hit from and then in return knock them out with either Bug Buzz or with Energy Ball but because the hail hit his Seismitoad before me I was thinking that maybe he would try to get up his Stealth Rocks against my Vickabolt which is why I'm going to switch directly into my Zatu here in hopes that I would be able to bounce them back because with half of his team being weak to Stealth Rocks, if I'm able to get them up freely, that puts me in a very advantageous scenario. But he does end up switching directly on now into his Wumsaka, most likely thinking that I would want to go for the Energy Ball with my Vickabolt. As it turns out that he is a more defensive set because he's got leftovers. This is excellent for me because I should be able to live any one hit this thing wants to go for. Then I can go for the U-turn and bring in something else. But because he ended up going for the U-turn himself, this will allow me to then you turn out against whatever he brings in and get switch initiative which is really excellent because I can keep up offensive pressure and go from there as I you turn into my Vanillix I was hoping that the way I brought it in he would expect me to be choice scarfed and timid choice scarf Vanillix is actually faster than jolly scarf Braviary but the thing is is that this Vanillix is modest scarf not timid scarfed which means I'm not able to outspeed him and he has now revealed to me that his Braviary is scarfed itself as I blizzard the incoming Delphox, I do get a little lucky here and I get a crit. This crit does play a slight role later in the battle. It also makes it to where Delphox can only switch in one time to Stealth Rocks, which is going to make them even more valuable if I'm able to get them up. As I make an aggressive switch here directly in to my Embor, I was very positive he wouldn't want to go straight for a Psychic type move and he would just want to go for the Flamethrower to try to knock out my Vanillux. And as I bring in Embor, he actually ended up doing a little bit bit too much damage to my Embor to be timid and it turns out that he's actually modest which means there's a chance that he could be modest scarfed which means he's got two choice scarfers like I have two choice scarfers or he could be modest with Z move which would be a little bit odd so more or less I'm thinking that he is scarfed Delphox which is actually a little bit bad because his two scarf Pokemon are faster than my scarf Pokemon which means they can revenge kill my revenge killers and that's not really good for me in this battle. So, I end up switching here, or doubling out into my Vanillux, expecting his switch into the Seismitoad. As I then go for the very obvious Freeze Dry, I catch the incoming Sneasel. In hindsight, I definitely should have gone for the Blizzard. Like, Blizzard was a straight 2 KO on a physically defensive Seismitoad anyways. Plus, there was always a chance that I would have switched directly into my Zatu on his potential Stealth Rock. So, him switching in the Sneasel was a very solid play, and it was just a bad play on my part to have gone for the Freeze Dry. I guess I am able to get off about 60-ish percent on the Sneasel, which is really Really nice because now it's definitely in range of where any move for my toad will knock him out and expecting him to maybe want to switch out here I'm gonna try and get up my stealth rocks as he actually stays in goes for the swords dance and because I saw that he didn't have life orb and the fact that he's not choice banded has me thinking that maybe he Z moves so I'm gonna try and go for the protect this turn because if the cock was correct I could live a Z move through protect and still live another move 
and then in return still knock him out with the skull but he just ends up going for the knockoff twice and I don't think he was a Violite because he definitely would have taken the freeze dries and the skull a lot better so I'm not sure what item he was carrying maybe focus sash I guess that would make sense as in comes the Whimsicott, I do still have use for my Seismitoid. If anything, I can just save it as Death Fodder to see what the Braviary locks himself into because I don't realistically have a good switch in to Braybird from the Braviary. So I end up making an aggressive switch here in to my Vickable because this is a defensive Whimsicott. I'm very positive that there's no two moves that he has that will be able to knock me out so what I can do is then go for my Z move here which is the Savage Spin Out and coming off of a Modest Vickable with its skyrocket high special attack stat I'm guaranteed to absolutely knock something out here whether it be this Whimsicott uh, physically defensive Seismitoad is knocked out after Stealth Rocks Delphox and Braberry are not switching in after rocks either so I was very positive that if I did go for my Z move here I wouldn't be able to KO something as I just annihilate this Whimsicott. I guess in hindsight I could have maybe gone for the Roost but I just wanted to be aggressive there because I knew I could get a KO as I mentioned so I'm able to knock out the Whimsicott as in comes the Braberry. Unfortunately for me this Braberry at this point outspeeds my entire team but because I do still have my Rotom in the back which has not taken any damage even if he locked himself into the Brave Bird here I would still be able to live one as long as he didn't crit me so I will be able to go straight for a modest choice specs Leaf Storm on whatever he decides to bring in here as he just sacrifices his Seismitoad to my Rotom Mo. There was a funeral after this battle for that Seismitoad because that modest specs Leaf Storm did way too much damage to a Seismitoad for it to come back ever after this battle. So in comes the him on top. Because he brought this in, I'm thinking, okay, this is definitely going to go for the rapid spin now. And I was really hoping, even though I was at minus two because I was modest and specs, and this is most definitely an offensive him on top that I would be able to possibly knock him out, but he does just barely live. Goes for the rapid spin, but good thing for me is that he lives to where the next hit from Life Orb will knock him out. So what I can do here is switch into my Zatu and not risk having my Rotom in against his Delphox or his Braviary. Now the only issue in this battle is that I no longer have Stealth Rocks up to be able to punish both of his Scarf Pokemon. So in comes the Braviary. I'm expecting him to just want to go for the Brave Bird or the Return. So I honestly just leave in Zatu here as Death Fodder, but he actually ends up going for the U-Turn and this is really good for me because I did end up going for the Roost just on the off chance that maybe for some reason I'd live because that means I would be able to get more recoil damage on the Braviary as he U-turns into the Delphox. It turns out that I actually roosted up to enough HP to be out of range of where a modest Delphox Flamethrower can knock me out. So I'm going to switch out here back into my Emblem because I don't want my Zatu to take any more unnecessary damage and I should be able to still live two flamethrowers with my Emboar and in return knock him out with the wall charge as he's actually going to switch out here sacking off his Braviary just to get that extra little bit of recoil damage on my Emboar putting me in range of where now the Delphox can definitely knock me out with the flamethrower and at this point I am down to my Seismitoad, Zatu and my Rotom Mo. Now the great thing about this is that my Toad is actually out of range of where even a blaze boosted flamethrower can knock me out but the thing is is that this is where me critting him with the blizzard earlier in the match came into play if I had only hit him with the regular blizzard I would have then had to bring in my Zatu here hope that he didn't crit me go for the u-turn sack off my Rotom Mo to then bring in my Seismito to be able to then finish off the Delphox so that's how the match would have gone if he didn't uh, if I didn't crit him with the blizzard but Either way, I was able to just barely pull out the victory here. I honestly did not think I was going to win this because, again, both of his Choice Scarf Pokemon outsped both of my Scarf Pokemon, and both of his Scarf Pokemon basically just annihilated whatever I potentially could have switched in to them. But either way, very good, fun game to Sharpedo43, guys. Make sure to hammer arm that like button down below and to answer the question of the day. And with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. So, later, everybody. No matter where you're at, I'm not here to make friends, it's time to attack And deplete your HP with a final smash Don't make me turn around and pull a six foot
hacks. <laughs> six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks. Yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks. Yeah. Six foot, six foot hacks. Hacks.